Speaking of fake boyfriend, it's no crime that it sure gets a character named Sarah in a tight spot with her family in the romantic comedy Bo Jest. And we welcome actor Pac Patrick Llewellyn with us this morning to talk about the next production at the White Theater. Absolutely. And also something very exciting, which we'll touch on in just a little bit. All so right. you have to stay tuned <laughs> for that. But uh, first, just tell us uh, what is the plot of this theater? Well, production? Sarah um, is a nice Jewish girl whose uh -huh. parents want nothing more than for her to have a wonderful Jewish boyfriend. Well, she gets so tired of them trying to set her up that she hires an actor to play the boyfriend. His last name is Schroeder, so she assumes that he's Jewish. Well, he's not. Okay. <laughs> and, so, and you're uh, that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> um, so, you know, comedy ensues. It's very farcical. It's a romantic comedy. Very, very close to home, you know, especially with the holidays. It's a big mm -hmm. family piece, so... What kind, of, what kind of trouble do you get yourself into as a character? <laughs> well, well, she tells me, um, I find out, you know, while we're having dinner that I'm a doctor. Well, who knows things about being a doctor unless you're a doctor, right? <laughs> so uh, that happens, and then I find out that I'm a surgeon, and uh, it just becomes this big web of, of lies <laughs> that, uh -huh. uh, as you would predict, eventually unfolds, and uh, it's a very sweet story. Opening night was Saturday? Yes, yes, How'd last it go? night. It was fantastic. We had a sold out crowd, and uh, you know, it's that type of show where you put the audience in there, and it just, the show comes alive. Heard it described as a laugh out loud yes. romantic comedy. Yes, so I thought it would getting... be that type of show where you know you chuckle in your seat, but we found out that that's not the case. Uh -huh. People actually just laughing out loud, full out, big belly laughs. So it was great. Ah, oh, sounds like a great production. Also, want to tell people about something really incredible because you recently finished up a tour, a national tour, uh, Rock of Ages, yes. where you're with Tom Cruise and Catherine Zeta Jones. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah. Uh, well, I did the the uh, first Broadway tour first. Uh, that was all of last. Last year uh, started in September, ended around July. Uh, that was amazing. You know, got to go all over, including here at the Music Hall. And I'll stand true to it: Kansas City is the best city in the world. So, um, <laughs> uh, die hard. I've lived here my entire life, family and everything. Uh, so that was fun. We came through here, and then uh, in the beginning of August, went and shot the movie as a featured dancer. Never thought I would be a dancer, but you know. <laughs> How incredible! So, what was it like being involved in a movie to that scale? Oh, it was so cool. Um, my favorite part of the entire thing is the fact that it's like you work at night. <laughs> I'm such a night owl. You start at three in the afternoon, you end at six in the morning. So you just go straight through. With you have dinner at like three in the morning, which I do anyway, so you, that was very cool. You were on creative people's schedule. Right, right. That's all a good right. way to put it. <laughs> so, and you actually met Tom Cruise. What was he like? Oh, he's such a nice guy. He really is. Um, and I'm not just saying that. Uh, he came to see our show in Los Angeles, maybe to do some, uh, some character study for his role. Uh, but he came uh, backstage after the performance and had nothing but nice things to say. Um, just really genuine. And Steven Tyler? Yes, Steven Tyler was in Los Angeles as well. And, uh, you know, that was my first rock CD was Toys in the Attic. And mm -hmm. so to meet Steven Tyler and just, I talked with him for like 15 minutes one-on-one. -on -one, just the most humble, genuine, kindest person you could ever meet. Oh, so nice to hear. Yeah. Well, we wish you yeah, right? continued success. I mean, we always want to support a local Overland Park <laughs> actor. And I uh, just expect to hear many more big things from, hoping, your, right? <laughs> from your career. And if you would like to uh, see the performance, it's, it's at the White Theater at the Jewish Community Center, December 4th, 8th, 10th, and 11th. 11th. And for more information, we'll also put this for you a little later on our website. Thanks so much <laughs> for coming on. Thanks for having me.